Well, that the CHP has now backed off of this pursuit and the local uh, police agency in that jurisdiction is now following. Uh, any insight into what happens oh, next? Oh, here's the pivot maneuver right here. Go. They're going to get it. Oh, so close. Uh -huh. Ooh, any what? idea what that uh, agency is right now? Um, can't see that uh, oh, sign on the police car. But what do you see happening right now? They're getting awfully close to that car. Yeah, they're they're definitely. Uh, of course, they're trying to pit maneuver here. I believe it may be Montclair. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's Ontario. Oh. Okay, it's going to be uh, Ontario PD that is on them. Uh, yeah, so they've decided to go ahead and negotiate the uh, pit maneuver. You know, believing in in actually. They, they, and don't forget, there's somebody. Oh, here we go. Pit maneuver to the left. We'll see. Mm. Oh. Yikes. He is definitely uh, going much faster now, knowing that there's a uh, patrol vehicle behind okay, him. this is it right here. Here we go. Oh, he had a little tap, but that the driver's not slowing down. Yeah. Is that a strategic move, Dave? Um, is that tap a very subtle at this point, not to cause that car to spin out and possibly crash into other cars? You know, what's what's the plan right now when you're um, when the, you're the police following this vehicle? Uh, they're, you know, they're broadcasting, they're working, they're speaking to other agencies, but right now, you know, they do want to get this suspect stopped. If, if oh, here we go. It's another opportunity for them. Oh, mm. they've tried clipping him on the right. Yeah, here they go again. Yeah. Let's see if they step up a little. If, oh. This is this wow. is tough to watch, Rachel. He just came really close to that to, parked to car. That parked car, yeah, and you got to hope no one's in there. And that's one of the hard things. Okay, another option for them. And there we go. Okay. All right. We're told that's Ontario PD oh, that go. just performed. Yeah. Wow. wow. It appears to be a successful pit maneuver, which is, which is what you want to see. Absolutely. Here we go. Officers yeah. coming out of the car. Yeah, we know two people are inside the car. We got to hope, Rachel, in this situation that both people put their hands up, mm -hmm. get taken into custody, and, you know, nothing else happens from here. But thankfully, the roads were pretty empty, especially in this part of town. Yes, he did come very close. Uh, we can see that the car ended up smashing into a tree. And I did see the passenger side door fling open, but it looks like, or is that, are they still inside that car, not coming hey, out Rachel, of this point? I'm sorry, but Rachel and uh, Chris, one of, this is one of the reasons why I bring up, always bring up the point that agencies don't really care to me, uh, mingle or uh, co-mingle mm -hmm. with other departments when they get to this uh, point, mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's because of the post-pursuit management. Mm -hmm. um, it's all a bunch of Ontario officers. They all train off the same book. They all know what each other's going to do. Right now, what they're doing is they're going to go ahead and, and one officer, not all of them, one officer is going to give out demands for mm -hmm. the uh, driver to exit the vehicle. Uh, you want to get them away because of the, the closeness to the uh, controls, of course. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Dave. Um, you know, we also see uh, the canines are being brought out. I, I don't know if we saw clearly in that shot when we were zoomed in onto the driver. Was he on his phone? Um, he was doing something in the driver's seat. So unclear right now if he's just refusing to come out. It looks like he's on his phone. Yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah, he, I mean, he, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me because he's saying, hey, listen, I just got stopped uh, and, you know, giving out, you know, give me some help. And mm -hmm. and that you know, was maybe. actually a pretty clean pit. You could just see on the right hand side of your screen that was just taken a couple minutes ago. Yeah. Um, but what was interesting is, you know, they kept going up and as you called it, Rachel, tapping him on the, the left hand side yeah. of, of, of the bumper. And, and finally, they were able to, to get them to get to this position. And it doesn't look like they're going anywhere from here. And, <laughs> and thankfully, their hands are up, mm -hmm. so that, that's a good sign right there. So, Dave, tell yeah. us, in a situation like this, uh, what's what's the strategy? Do they just wait as long as as long as possible until these folks surrender? Um, are they going to, at some point, make the canines go in? What's the plan? Right now, they're going to just try and talk them out. They'll give them some time. Right now, the, the officers are in control. The suspect's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. In front of the suspect, they got that building. They got a, a gate. They're not going anywhere. So there's no rush at this point. It's kind of like everything just slowed down. Officers are in control. They'll try and speak to the suspect and try, maybe even trying to talk to him right now mm -hmm. and trying to get him, you know, he's got his hands up. So... I mean, that's where I, I believe what they're doing right now. There's, there's really no point. But at some, at uh, you know, they'll wait and they'll try and work with the suspect. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we, we don't know if this suspect's a 
two striker looking at a third right. or the yeah. first strike. You know, we don't know if exactly. they do in fact have weapons, but evidently uh, we don't believe they do. 